Good evening. I'm Alex Panagiotakos, the Director of Fine Arts here at Asheville Christian Academy. I want to thank you for joining us uh, for the Upper School Virtual Concert this evening. Tonight you're going to hear music performed by our Upper School Musical Ensembles, both before we went into quarantine and some virtual pieces that we've made since then. You will also get to see the visual art that we've done this year, both at home and while at school. I want to open us in prayer and we'll begin our program. Please join me as we pray. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity to come and celebrate these students and the creativity that you've given them. I pray that tonight will go well and that we can lift everything that we have done and will continue to do up to you. In Christ's name, amen.
This evening, we'll be presenting awards to students in the areas of visual art, theater, band, and choir, as well as the Renaissance Capstone Award and the Excellence Award for Service and Dedication. Throughout this evening, this will be presented to students at their homes um, by the Fine Arts staff. The first award that we're going to present this evening is the Visual Arts Award. Now let's join Jennifer Edwards as she presents that award. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Edwards and I teach visual art to middle and high schoolers at Asheville Christian Academy. Tonight, I'm here to present the 2020 Visual Art Award to Alex Frank. Let's go surprise her. This year's Art Award recipient is a creative and talented artist who inspires others. She is a brave adventurer in the visual arts and is not afraid to forge new paths into the unknown places in her work. She takes risks in her art that may or may not work out, but can also take a failed work and give it a second chance to become something entirely different and new. She consistently pushes herself to learn new skills and new mediums with joyful abandon and grit. All of this is incredibly inspiring to those of us that make things. But there are other ways she inspires, like showing up to class, virtual or otherwise, with a genuine smile on her face and a gladness in her heart to see her classmates and share about each other's work. Through her natural tendency to encourage others, and her genuine desire to pray for her friends, family, classmates, and strangers, and her real love and care for all her brothers and sisters in Christ or otherwise. All of these things are what makes Alex Frank more than worthy to be named the 2020 Visual Art Award recipient. May we all be inspired by Alex. Congratulations. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will be This is Karen Whitley, and I'm here to present the 2020 Symphonic Band Award. Uh, I'm going to be giving that to Alexis Fuller. So I'm here at her house, and I'm going to ring the doorbell and surprise her. Good 
Good evening. My name is Karen Whitley. I'm the Assistant Band Director under um, Mr. Panagiotakis. And I am delighted to be here with you to present the Symphonic Band Award. It was a very difficult decision since we have several students uh, that fit the bill for this. But there is one who has stood out among the rest. They have shown great improvement in their instrument over the last several years to the point to where they were accepted all district bands several times. They have also learned a new instrument um, and have had opportunities to play solo in the jazz band. Also, they have been a part of our pit orchestra for many musicals. The thing that I most appreciate about this student is um, their willingness to mentor our younger students to come alongside them teaching with great patience and understanding and kindness. Um, they have been a TA for our concert band and has really helped nurture the up-and-coming band students. So I'm delighted to present this award to Miss Alexis Fuller.
Good evening, Asheville Christian Academy family. My name is Christopher Aiken. I'm the director of choirs at Asheville Christian Academy. And uh, I'm off to a family's house now that just on their lonesome has a problem adhering to the 10 person or less quarantine rule. I'm about to give the choir award to Miss Skylar Bartman. She's a senior this year and going off to Wheaton in the fall uh, for a music degree. We're so proud of her. I got some goodies. Let's see if she'll come to the door. The 2020 Choir Award goes to a young lady who has transformed and elevated the choral music at Asheville Christian Academy. She is truly the most gifted choral musician that I have taught in my 10-year tenure at ACA. She has sung both soprano and alto. She has served as alto section leader for the past two years. She has accompanied all of the ACA choirs masterfully at the piano since the sixth grade, and she even conducted a song while in middle school, all of which culminates in over 40 choral performances, both on and off campus during the last seven years. She has a great ear and a big heart. This year's choir award goes to Skylar Barton. In addition to her love of music, Skylar has a big heart for people and for drawing people to the king through what she does on a performing stage. You may resonate with that fact as you reflect on the many performances you may have seen her give over the years. Her winsome smile and ease on the stage draws you inward so that God may draw you upward. This is the mark of the Choir Award recipient, someone who has demonstrated Mark's musical skill and or improvement, as well as a matched intensity for loving the people to which God has given the arts. And that's all of us. Skylar, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your dedicated and passionate years of service to the choir and to all of us, the audiences. Thank you for remembering that we sing ultimately for an audience of one. I'm sure that people have always felt welcome at our concerts because you've greeted them so well from your place on the risers with a big smile. And I look forward to seeing you as a welcome guest at our concerts in the future. You are always welcome. Don't be a stranger. I love you, and I will miss you very much. My name is Anna Stroud, and I teach middle school drama and direct the upper school productions at Asheville Christian Academy, and I am at Garrison Northrop's house to deliver 
Kowalski Drama Award. Let's go. It is a common joke among thespians that there are always plenty of young ladies, yet few young men involved in theater. Yet, this year's Drama Award recipient shines bright as a young man with a talent for the stage. This senior has been in many musicals, stealing the stage as a toe-tapping crapshooter, a hilarious henchman, and a witty phonetics instructor. He has put up with many a pathetic joke from my end, and endured very loud rehearsals with a kind and humble spirit. While this actor may be a man of few words, his actions speak volumes. Harrison is humble, wise, and gentle, characteristics of a great leader. His work on and off the stage make him an admirable part of this department. I hope many young men will follow in his footsteps. And Harrison... I hope you will flourish in all the Lord has planned for you in the days ahead. The next performance this evening is a tribute to My Fair Lady. Over the course of the past four months, your students have worked very hard to bring all the different aspects of the show to life, and we wanted to honor each one of those. What you're going to be seeing is rehearsal videos that we're taking during the choreo process, where you'll also get to see at different stages the set come into play. Also, the music that you're hearing is entirely virtual. It was done with the students at home and they sent it in. This includes even the orchestra students who sent in recordings. Please enjoy our tribute to My Fair Lady. After all, Pickering, I'm an ordinary man who desires nothing more than just the ordinary chance to live exactly as he likes and do precisely what he wants. An average man am I, of no eccentric whim, who wants to live his life free of strife, doing whatever he thinks is best for him. Just an ordinary man. Just you why, every begins, just you why. You'll be sorry, but your tears will be too light. You'll be broke, and I love money. Will I help you? Don't be funny. Just you, why? Every Higgins, just you, why? Just you, why? Every Higgins, till you're sick. And you scream to fetch a doctor double quick. I'll be all for second light. I'll rank go straight to the thi I'll row ho ho. Every Higgins, just you, why? I think she's got it. I think she's got it. The rain in Spain sees me in the play. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. Now once again, where does it rain? On the plain, on the plain. And where's that soggy plain? In Spain, in Spain. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pull out a stopper, let's have a whopper, but get me to the church on time. I gotta be there in the morning Spruced up and looking in my prime Girls, come and kiss me Show how you'll miss me But get me to the church on time Hail and salute me Then all the faith will prove me Get me to the church Get me to the church For God's sake, get me to the church on time Hi, I'm Alex Pangiotakos, the Fine Arts Director, and I'm here to present the Excellence Award for Service and Dedication to Mackenzie Schroeder. The 
Fine Arts Excellence Award is given each year to a student with outstanding service and dedication. This year, as is so often the case, this award goes to a student who you as an audience will not often see, but is the backbone to a successful concert and performance. In addition to being a faithful trombonist in the band since fifth grade, Mackenzie has been serving in the sound booth for more productions than I can count. As far as I can tell, she has always been there and always getting the job done. Her service in the sound booth has not been limited to the area of the fine arts. During chapels, assemblies, or any event that takes place in the auditorium, Mackenzie has been a faithful volunteer running the soundboard. During musicals, she has helped others stand out by making sure their microphone is properly placed and securely attached. And when something goes wrong with one, she earns her PE credit by simply running back and forth from the sound booth to the backstage. Mackenzie, thank you for all that you have done for the fine arts and ACA as a whole. We wish you well, but we will surely miss you. The next two pieces you're going to hear are from the jazz band and from a senior ensemble. The jazz band piece was recorded just before we went into quarantine during an open house at the school. The piece that you hear after that is a senior ensemble composed of students who were planning to fulfill their honors level requirement for band at our concert this evening. When we discovered that we were not going to be able to have an actual concert, I challenged them to do something virtually. So you're going to get to see a little bit of Bohemian Rhapsody that was put together by Alex Maninoff and the other senior boys of the band.
We have one more award to present this evening, the top award in the fine arts department, which we call the Renaissance Award. And I'm again at the same house to award it to Samantha Schroeder. The Renaissance Award is the highest award given by the Fine Arts Department at ACA. This award goes to a student who has participated in multiple areas of the fine arts and has proven to be an example and role model for younger students in every aspect that he or she participates in. Samantha Schroeder has shown herself to be an excellent example of what being an artist at ACA means. She has been in the choir, visual art classes, and dramas and musicals. Through each of these areas of the arts, she has shown strong character and perseverance, even when she did not receive the casting she had hoped for. Over the years, I and the rest of the fine arts staff have been impressed by her level of dedication and how hard she has worked to develop her skills as an actor, artist, and musician. Samantha, thank you for the joy that you brought to our department. You have been a shining example to those around you, and you are leaving a deep legacy for them to follow. We look forward to seeing where God takes you. Thank you for being with us this evening. We're going to close with two more pieces of music. Both of them are virtual and were done while we were in quarantine here over the past month. The first one from the symphonic band is Benediction. This closing piece is in tribute to our seniors, opens with a solo, and ends with just the seniors playing together before the whole band closes out the piece. The last song that you will hear is Shalom. Tonight will be sung by just the seniors of the upper school choir. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate you. We miss you.
Jesus.